Good day, this is Dr. Franco Seiva doing another viewer request. This time the viewer wants to uh, know a little bit about Insasi or Siete Hayo, as he's known as. First and foremost, I just want to say that I do not claim to have the absolute truth. Now with that being said, I just want to say that Insasi is my father in this beautiful religion. He's my protector, my rock. He's what keeps me humble. It's an honor and pleasure to be called his son. To me, that means a lot. He is such a a beautiful entity. Now, in Sasi means lightning and thunder, while Sitehayo means seven bolts of lightning. And Sasi is a major empungo in the Palo Mayumbe religion. And Sasi, or Sitehayo, is also known by Engundo, Liri, Siete Loma, Enquita, Siete Palma, just to name a few, because he, he also goes by a lot of uh, different names, especially uh, depending on the Rama or the branch of Palo Mayumbe that you come from. Now, most... Speaking of Hamos or branches, most of them in the religion Palama Yombe only give out two Ngangas, and they are Salavanda and Sasi. Even even if you're the, you're the child of another in Pungo, it does not matter. But like I said before, every Munanso, every spiritual house works differently from one another. So not all of them do it. Now, in Sasi's colors are are either all red or red and white. And Sasi is associated with vitality, justice, even with love spells. He's extremely good with that, which, which is surprising to a lot of people. They usually, when they... Uh, they they think of love, spell, love spells in Palo Mayombe, automatically they think of... Uh, Mama Chola, but yeah, he's he's also in charge of that. Now, Nsasi is a fierce warrior who tends to use somebody's uh, strength against him sooner or later. He'll, he'll just sit there and be vigilant and figure out how he can turn this, this person's stronghold into his weakness. That's why he is associated with the tiger, because the tiger can actually track its prey, let it go for up, up, even up to weeks at a time until it finds the right moment to strike. And that, that right there is Nsasi. And for most of the people that he goes after, they usually tend to have accidents involving fire. That's because Nsasi is associated with lightning, thunder, and all forms of the fire. Meaning from the smoke all the way up to the hottest blue flame of the fire. That's Nsasi. Now Nsasi is also, oh, he's also associated with the royal palm tree and the sacred Seba tree. Especially the Seba tree. He's, he has a strong connection to that tree. Now, in Sasi stone or Matari is the lightning stone that is usually found along the river. Now, this stone looks shiny black in color, but it's actually gray with specks, little dots of black in there. This is the, uh, the side effect of being struck by the lightning. So, like if you put water on it, it'll look completely, completely shiny black. But once it's dry and you start looking at it under good light, it's actually gray. Now, this sacred stone is essential in the construction of an Nsasi Nganga. It's also essential for the purpose of the creation of anything that involves an Nkisi. Now remember, Salavanda works with the fire of creation, but Nsasi possesses the flash of life. It's a big difference there. Now, 
if you have, uh, if you've received centella, my recommendation is you always keep centella next to insassi. Those two right there, when you combine those two, there's there's nothing spiritually that you cannot accomplish. I mean, I pity the person who has to go against those two entities. It's not even a contest. Now, <clears throat> there's a, uh, a very, very ancient story that describes when Nsasi was back in the Congo, he was being chased by his neighbor and enemies, which were were uh, warlocks. They actually wanted to kill him in order to grab his skull, in order to uh, possess his, his spirit, his powers. So as he ran into um, the forest, the saber tree opened up its trunk, allowed Nsasi to go in, it closed up. And as those warlocks reached the area in front of that saber tree, they were struck down by bolts of lightning. The ones that did not die ran off. And this is where you get the name Siete Rayos or seven lightning bolts from. This is exactly the origin of that name. So, I mean, Insasi, I mean, what else can I say about Insasi? Insasi is such a great, great, great spirit to work with. And it's a, extremely protective. And when you work with Insasi, it's, it's an energy like you've never felt before. I mean, you you feel that force field around you. Now his children, we tend to be outgoing. We make friends very easily. We're very generous. Um, for the most part, they love to party, they love to drink, but that's the good side of them. Their bad side is, wow, it's, it's, they're like the worst enemies you can ever make in life. And I, I really I really recommend that when you are dealing with a son of Nsasi or a daughter of Nsasi to just walk on eggshells. They're beautiful people, but they have a short, short, short temper. Extremely short. And also, if you are a child of an, an Nsasi, whether you're a male or female... You just got to watch it because we tend to like the easy money. But for the most part, I mean, we are positive people. Well, until next time, man, Sambi bless you and yours. And salam alaikum.